Hello, and welcome to Horror Rewind. This is Kelly Florence. And this is Campbell Florence. And today we're talking about Twilight Zone, Episode 9, The Blue Scorpion. And our chihuahua is whiny in the background. So, uh, as I said, this is Episode 9. There's only one episode left of the new Twilight Zone. And I'm sad about it, but I'm also thankful that we got 10 episodes and, and it has been renewed for Season 2. Um, this episode is all about... Um, this gun that is passing hands, well, is just passed from father to son um, within the first, you know, 40 minutes or whatever. Um, and it has a strange hold over the owner, whoever owns it, that they will love it more than anyone else. And and the, the gun is afraid of the dark, so it always needs some light. So there's some weird, you know, sci-fi elements to it. What were your takeaways from the episode? Uh, it was a really good episode. Um, at going into it, I thought it was about it was gonna be about Jungle Patrol, and it it kind of is. Um, and it's also about like uh, giving personalities to inanimate objects, like how the gun is afraid of the dark and stuff. Yeah, I thought that was interesting too. And and then yeah, the whole commentary on. You know, do we love things more than we love people? Do we value things more than we value relationships? And, uh, you know, his marriage is already broken down and um, breaking, falling apart over things, you know, and over money. Um, they're, you know, fighting with the lawyer about all this stuff. But really, you know, sh is it, should that be the focus of our lives? Uh, and then this, you know, this gun just happened to be sort of the physical object um, as uh, the metaphor for that. And then uh, there was also this sci-fi element of the bullet had someone's name on it. Everybody that uh, the main character, Jeff, ended up meeting, coming into contact with, their name was Jeff also. So it's like, who is this bullet meant for? Is it meant for the lawyer? Is it meant for his himself? Should he kill himself? Is it meant for his um, ex-wife or soon-to-be ex-wife's new husband? Is it meant for the guy who's trying to buy the gun? There's so many Jeffs. What it ended up be, who it ended up being for was the the prowler who's trying to break into his car, uh, and then the gun goes off and, and kills that guy. So that was like an interesting moment, and uh, he ends up being a hero. I thought there is no way that this is gonna have a happy ending, but yeah, it did. It had a really happy ending for the main character. Uh, it had a really it was the first good ending for the main character. Uh, but the thing, so, uh, it ends with, he throws the silver scorpion into the lake, or, huh? The blue scorpion. Oh, the blue scorpion into the lake, um, and then... And yeah, and he gets a promotion, uh, he has an amicable divorce from his wife, like, everything is going well for him, but, uh, the final scene... Yeah, he throws the gun into the lake, because he wants to get rid of it. And then, like, it washes up on shore, and some kids get it. And now the ki and then one of the kids' name is is on the bullet. Yeah, it's Kyle, right? I yeah. think. Yeah, it's Kyle. So you know, something good is not gonna happen there. Yeah, and also I think that the other guy couldn't see that his name was on it. It looked like a, a regular bullet, but then to him it said Kyle. Yes. So that was the other weird part about it is that you know only the owner quote-unquote, perhaps, of the gun can see who the bullet is meant for. Um, what, yeah, just a kind of a cool, cool concept. Um, I like how everything at this guy's dad's house was sort of old school. The old music, again, 50s, 60s vibe, uh, the decorations, all of that was, was very cool. This particular episode wasn't very diverse and it didn't have very many women in it um so you know if i have to dock at points i guess it's not as diverse as usual uh but but overall it was pretty solid anything else you want to say about the blue scorpion let's let's rank this episode on a scale of zero to ten um zero being hated it ten being it's a perfect episode what should our scale be i was thinking like a bullet in the cartridge of the blue scorpion Okay, so how many bullets do you give the blue scorpion? I give it about seven. 
You know what? That's exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking seven. I didn't love this episode as much as I've loved some of the past ones. Obviously, I've ranked uh, at least two episodes this season a 10 out of 10. So you can tell how much I've loved them. Um, it's, you know, it's probably my least favorite episode so far, but it was still a very solid episode of television. Uh, so, you know, you gotta give it that. Uh, next week, do you remember what the preview? It's called, uh, The Blurry Man. Ooh, yes, it looks so good. Like, they can't really see this guy. He's, like, not coming into focus on all these, on all these, like, surveillance cameras or something. Like, what is going on? Yeah, and I think he's, like, writing a book about the Blurry Man or something. I'm excited. Seth Rogen is in that episode next week, and it is the final episode of this season of The Twilight Zone. So, uh, that'll be that'll be interesting to see. But, uh, overall, I've been very happy with this season, and I'm looking forward to going back and rewatching some of the original Twilight Zones with you, Campbell, because I don't think you've, I think you've seen very few original episodes. Yeah, I've seen a few. So it'll be fun to, to go back and, and rewatch. Uh, so tune in next week when we talk about the final season finale of The Twilight Zone. Until next time, we'll see you in the horror section. See you in the horror section.